job is explaining some basic things you need to know on how to embed that is put this drum kit into your virtual DJ software for better efficiency and as well as how you can go about it instead of buying appliances and attaching to your DJ equipment you don't need all that just if you can put your brain to work there's nothing you cannot do that is why a lot of people have continued to wonder what exactly do I do am I into electronic design am I a DJ anyway the list is endless am I a programmer in short leave that one let's go on how you can solve your own problem and make yourself better that is the primary things that my logo is talking about so on your virtual DJ environment as it is playing this way all you need to do is you go to this folder called documents inside the folder documents you access this folder called virtual DJ inside this virtual DJ folder there is a folder called sampler you open it inside the sampler you first look for the sample of the drum the sounds that you want then you come to this folder called videos when you open it you will see a couple of samples have introduced into this folder let me play them I'm going to select them and play let me play some so that you hear it for yourself just be observant you'll be hearing the sound one after the other you're hearing it so you can hear you can clearly see them I'm playing them using the normal windows so let me stop it so from what you can clearly see these are the sample of the sounds I'm using so you can get anyone that you want if it is maybe your own tune maybe DJ so 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 person or so 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 person or whatever you can think of look at them they need to be in this wave format they must have this wave dot wav or mp3 format file extension so if you get them and you copy them into this folder make sure they are in this wave format or mp3 just watch see this one is having dj dot sample wait 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 it will not work you first need to edit it you click it in a way that it will open up right by right clicking it and you change this name dot wav or dot once you do that you are good to go then you now once you are done loading it into that folder you will now come down you will now come back to this folder again to the folder sampler you will see this uh, this file by name video and scratch dot xml this file this is this xml is a file extension if you understand what object oriented programming is talking about so we talk about xml uh, txt and a host of other distinct but dot html this one is xml so it is in xml format you right click it and edit it once you open it so from the file you are seeing here i'm sure if you are not if you are new to programming or web development it might look strange but don't worry there's nothing to scare here from the first line we are seeing here let me highlight it you will see a question mark at the beginning dot xml then version 1.0 then coding utf file it with a question mark and it closes forget about that one you have no business with this one this is sampler dot bank this is a tag i've talked about i've talked about tags before so this is a simple tag that carries information this is an object that stores your information then you will now come to the next line you will see this sample he's talking about the sample then you will now see part just like the normal english you understand part as i've talked about that objects have attribute so this is the attribute this is the attribute that is characteristic that you want to store the information you want to store into this file so this part is talking about the direction that is the folder in which is pointing to a direction then what direction what folder are we pointing to we are pointing to you see this video that is the video that initial folder that we saw this folder this very folder you saw here is what is this is talking about the spelling must be correct if it starts with capital letter this one will start with capital letter too then the next thing that follows is this r then scratch wait 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 dot vdj sample wait 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 top all this information are in quotation mark you have to make sure that they are called arguments in programming so they are in quotation mark so this is the file name of the sound that you want look at another one we have here laser dot sample you can see dot mp3 so this is a file name then this next thing you are talking we are seeing here we are talking about the column that means on on the virtual dg application this is very part this very part i'm showing you with my cursor look at that they are in columns and rows so that column and rows you are talking you are seeing there is making reference to this individual columns you are seeing 
So you now pick each of them, place them on individual column and rows. So the first one is talking about column zero. Look at it, column zero, row zero. The next one after it is column one, row zero. Continuously, to, you are done putting. Look at the last one we have here. It's talking about ag agogo dot gold zero zero three v stb dot wav. That is the file format. Then we we'll now call to is found in column seven, row one. So you can see you arrange them that way. You have to make sure they follow the particular columns and rows in orderly manner, so that as you are clicking it, as you are pressing it, you will be getting different different sound output. Then when you are done with that very part, once you are done making that editing or adding of columns and rows here, you will now come to save. You just save it on the existing one. Just save. Once you are done saving it, it will remain there in that particular folder. Then you have to make sure that this last part is also closed. This is a closing tag. If you do HTML, you understand what closing tag is. This is a self-defined tag. That is the beauty of XML. You define the tag and you work with it. Then when you come down here, when you come to the virtual DJ application, you will now see your settings. You go to your settings. There is what you call virtual DJ mapping. This very customized mapping. This is uh, the settings I have done for myself. You will now select any key that you want. I'm using button F5. You can see F5 play underscore tutor. So it's going to play the sound that is located on the fit position based on the rows and columns are placed. Then why do we pick play underscore tutor? We pick play underscore tutor because we don't want it to just play. And if you press the button again, it should start from the beginning. So when you use play underscore, the reason why we have this tutor at the end is it means as many times as you press the F5, bo F5 button, it's going to start playing that particular sound from the beginning. It will not just play it and stop. Let me press it so that you understand. Let me play it so that you understand what I'm talking about. Let me play it so that you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, let me play it so that you understand what I'm talking about here. Mm -hmm. so, let me press it. This is let me press F5. You can clear this. Here. So as many times as many times as I am pressing it, it will be playing the song, the beat continuously, as well as other buttons. So for each of the buttons, you pick it that way. So that is the beauty of the whole thing. Okay, let's continue here in our jams. As we started from the beginning, let me allow the beating to roll. So You cannot be a zombie with me. Yes. 